Well, welcome to episode 18 of Geek Gumbo. I am your host, Patrick. I am joined tonight by Nick. Hello. And Josh. Hello. How's it going tonight, fellas? Well, we're editing a Google Doc to make fun of Jeff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Too bad he can't read it. He can read it? No, I mean, like, he oh. he can look at it, but read it. Somebody, he just can't, quick, somebody he can't edit him. it. Quick, somebody text him and tell him to look at the Google Doc. <laughs> Send him a picture of it. He, he can can't read. edit it, so I didn't give him editing privileges. Nice. Wait, what? hold on. Let me get a quick snap on my phone and <laughs> click. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Jeff is in Mexico never to return again. He's going to be trapped on the wrong side of the wall. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he finally got deported. <laughs> all at the start of a donkey show. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see a donkey show? No. In fact, even, you know, I have no desire to be in Mexico, even though in like two years I'll be on a cruise, probably going near Mexico. Hope you can come back, sir. I'm sure I will. You know, Here's all you're going to be allowed to go. I mean, if El Chapo doesn't, you know, capture me. So you're going to do dig under the boat? Hey, man, you never know. <laughs> it's time to get swifty. All right, so l- let's get this. Uh, <laughs> let's get this. Let's get this pot of gumbo started tonight. What you got? Uh, what you got for the pot tonight, Nick? I think uh, this pot's over. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, finally, as people remember, last year uh, Adult Swim teased a reboot for Samurai Jack, and uh, never really gave a release date. Well, as of this week, we have a release date starting March 11th. Samurai Jack is returning to television, hopefully with a, uh, you know, a new, more violent tone to it, you know, since it's going to be on Adult Swim. Now, my, my one thing, though, that I've been curious about is that are they going to, like, just start it from the beginning again, or are they going to, like, continue where the show left off back in 2004? Doesn't really say. But it does have a quote darker, more theatrical tone. Oh yeah, sounds oh. exciting. Oh wait, here we go. It is set fifty years later than previous episodes. So it's gonna take place after the end of the two thousand four series, which actually wasn't the end because it got cancelled. On a on a scale of one to ten, how forward uh, how how much are you looking forward to that? I'm actually looking forward to it. Samurai Jack was one of my favorite cartoons to watch on Cartoon Network. Josh, you into the Samurai Jack? Uh, I think it'll be a good time to get into it. So, I didn't really watch it too much the first time around. It was it was one of those shows that like. It didn't have a lot of dialogue to it. It was more about the facial expressions and the action than it was anything about, like, story or whatnot. I mean, they still had talking in it, but it was mostly either fighting or facial expressions. So it's just like a muted porn. Why All about the facial porn muted? <laughs> All the facial expressions. He has kids. In the action. Still, why would you watch porn muted? I don't know. Not like his wife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds exciting. Oh All right. <laughs> Josh, what you got for the flavor? <laughs> oh, my God. Um, I got a story about uh, this guy. His name is Jamie. I'm sorry. His name is Gabe. His brother's name is Jamie. <laughs> uh, Lord Gaben? Was, shut up. He was born with congestive heart defect. And limited what he could do as a child. Mm-hmm. He was also an avid uh, Nintendo fan, like some piece of shit we know. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was actually able to go, because of Reddit, he was actually able to go to Nintendo and play Zelda early. What? Yeah. That... And then in January, he passed away. Oh. So he actually got to play it and beat it before he passed away. That is pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, so kudos to Reddit and, you know, Nintendo yeah. for making kudos, that one. Kudos to Reddit because, you know, God knows Nintendo doesn't do charity unless people are screaming at them. Yeah. Like, I, I read that article and, you know, 
uh, shout out to Reddit for doing what they do, but, you know, Nintendo at first was like, no. Yeah, no, fuck that guy. Yeah, like, no, fuck that guy. What, he's dying? Yeah, he he can buy, like, the rest. His money's still good. I mean, hey, you can still vote. Yeah. But, yeah, so, <laughs> good job, Reddit. Yes. For once, you did something good. Well, that mean, sounds they, awesome. They do good stuff plenty of times. I, I, I still would like to call out Nintendo for being kind of a dick. Yeah, well, I love hate. hating on Nintendo. I love hating on Nintendo. <laughs> I love hating on Nintendo as a company. Let me make that abundantly clear on if I haven't before in the past. I love Nintendo games. They are yeah, fantastic. Nintendo games are great. Nintendo as a company? Y'all can go rotten hell. Y'all a bunch of assholes. <laughs> Dear Nintendo, I do not um, yes, he does. condone the views yes, he does. of yes, he everybody does. on this yes, podcast. He yes, he does. He has no say. Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> Either he condones it or he's off the podcast. <laughs> I mean, I could, I could go bastards. on a rant about why I hate Nintendo as a company, but that's not neither here or there. So, Or everywhere. Janir, Jafar, Jawara, wherever, wherever you are. are. <laughs> <laughs> No, All right. I, I would I would play a clip from that song, but I think we would probably get hit with a copyright claim. <laughs> Why not? Everything else gets hit with a copyright claim. Thanks, actually, Activision. Actually, believe it or not, uh, we haven't had any. Wait, and hold on, so so the audience can hear this. We have not had any copyright claims as of late. So, have you posted a Call of Duty video lately? Uh, no. That's why. <laughs> no, they only they actually only claimed one of the Call of Duty videos. For audio visual content and other shit like that, but I think it was the scenes in the or the stuff that was in the video was used in the trailer, and that's why it was automatically copyrighted. And you know, it's whatever. It's not taking any revenue from us. Oh wait, we don't make any. Because we don't make any. <laughs> yeah, we can't. Uh, they could sue us for all we got. All and, two viewers. Yeah. <laughs> Oh wait, one because you know one of us are one. Yeah, there you go. I watch them. Don't get high on your own supply, man. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm trying to get us some money. That's all. So I watch the podcast. Oh yeah. All right, we'll move on. Uh, Batman v Superman gets nominated for worst movie of 2016. Uh, they received eight Razzie nominations. Um, worst picture. Worst actor for both Ben Affleck and uh, <laughs> Henry Cavill. Um, worst supporting actor. Uh, what's his name? <laughs> Lex Luthor. Jesse uh, Eisenberg. Jesse Eisenberg. Um, worst screen combo. Ben Affleck <laughs> and <damn>. Henry Cavill. <laughs> there was guy. no love for Batman v Superman. Worst director. Zack Snyder. <laughs> Oh come on! Is that is that worst prequel, remake, ripoff, or sequel? God damn! And worst screenplay. So yeah, it hit uh, it hit all the major categories. Shit! And it won uh, seven. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just to point out, uh, Wonder Woman or uh, Lois Lane did not get dominated. So hey, kudos to them for being off the worst list. Finally. Yeah. yeah. You know. So yeah, such a such a great movie that uh that Justice League looks like it has a lot to live up to. Yeah, I mean, fuck eight Razzies. It's got to go for at least ten. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> didn't, did you see the the news that they they are rewriting the entire script for the Flash movie? Yes, like they I did. Were, that's that's not never a good sign. <laughs> Sean, I mean, was it not funny enough? Or <laughs> and bless you, by the way, whoever sneezed. It was a cough, but thank you anyway. Okay, you need well, the God buses. bless you anyway. Um, I don't know. Just it's the Flash. Like, why ah! is the Flash such a big deal? Because the TV show works. Yep. Even I don't even understand how the TV show is such a big thing. He's fresh. Ah. Maybe it's just me, and maybe I have more love for Marvel than I do DC. But. DC just needs to stop trying to make movies. They need to just sell it to Disney and let Disney make them. <laughs> yeah, like Disney's going to do that. God, Disney would own both. 
Disney would own both, and they would they would they probably would make the movies, and they'd probably be good. I highly doubt that. A DC Marvel crossover. They would shut down and just make Batman movies. Yeah, pretty much. And they would all get rid. <clears throat> They would only make they would only make Batman movies and maybe every twenty years try to make a Superman movie. See the thing that I don't get about Superman is he's he's basically invincible. Mm-hmm. And it's there's not much more you can see him do. Like you've seen every Superman movie the dude stops a plane. Like we've seen that already. Mm-hmm. Like every Spider Man movie he's holding something together. Right. Right. Well that's you know, that the first time they did that in Spider Man Two was like that was awesome. That was awesome. Right. Now with this one you see it on the preview and it's like um, Again? Yeah, we kinda seen that. I kinda like looked over whenever I seen it. Like, is he doing that again? <laughs> what is this guy's obsession with holding things together? I mean shit, it's like he's a spider or something. Either I think fuck it's the a, object or don't. It's a metaphor for his life. Yeah. Whoa. It's so deep. So we don't even understand it. Am I stoned right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Nick, do we have another flavor? Um, there is one more, and it's uh, Tekken Six got added to Xbox uh, backwards compatibility. You know, with the announcement of uh, Tekken Seven, get it, you know, te- Tekken Seven's coming up. Um, its release date was announced this week. If I can find it, still no Call of Duty. Uh, Tekken Seven will be available on June second. So basically, the same day that they announced that the release date for Tekken Seven, they added Tekken Six to the backwards compatible list on um, Xbox. So anybody excited about that? Not really. I, I, I mean, I, I I like Tekken. It's one of my preferred fighting games. What very few there are. But I'm, I'm just not excited about it because I know Tekken is just another game that if I try to go online, you know, some little bastard don't, across don't. the country is going to kill me in like three hit hits. <laughs> I was to say, don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> I was scared where that was going. Where did you think it was going? Let's not go there. So. Yeah, let's not go there. Anyway. But... <laughs> You know, I mean, I'm sure I, I know that Tekken has its market and it has its fans, but to me, you know, whoop de doo, we get another Tekken. Yay! The fuck? Hold on, I got an ad up here somewhere. I don't know where it's at. Close everything. <laughs> Control Alt Delete. Control Alt Delete. <laughs> but yeah, dude. While we're on the subject of Xbox, do you see the thing with the uh, Xbox Scorpio? What about I it? I did not. Uh, they basically reconfirmed the uh, six teraflops, um, and then they said it's going to be kind of like a new console, but it will be fully backwards compatible with everything. Okay. I'm looking for the the story right now so I cannot talk like a bumbling uh, idiot. I did see that the, I think it was the developer for Ori and the Blind Forest basically said that you know, Xbox One Scorpio is number one and PS4 Pro is half-assed. Yeah, this is what he said. He said, uh, Scorpio Scorpio isn't just a half-assed upgrade, which the PS4 Pro kind of is, but a full-blown next-gen machine that's just backwards compatible to your current library. Hmm. And what's the price on those? They haven't announced anything, but they they keep saying it will not be cheap. (laughs) Well, of course it won't be cheap. And, you know, people like me who are just going to say, well, fuck it, my Xbox One still works fine. Like me. I think what they're trying to play to is this. I, th- I think what they're trying to get to is it's going to be. They're trying to unify the PC and the Xbox, and the Scorpio that, is going to be the easiest way to do to it. Say. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see them introducing like some kind of using the Microsoft Store kind of like as a Steam store to try and be the first to really adapt that. I mean. You know, it, that's not a bad thing that they want to try to unite PC gamers or at least try to get PC gamers onto 
Xbox One, but I mean, they're trying to make PC gaming and Xbox One gaming like one unified, like one big platform. You know, I don't think that'll work out too well in, in the long run. You know, especially with, you know, Steam and Origin and uh, Uplay and all that other good stuff. I mean, look back at uh, when Call of Duty released for the um, Xbox One. There were two PC versions. There was one PC version that you got through Steam, but then there was another one that you got through Microsoft, and you they couldn't play together. So, like, if... You know, Pat, if you got it on uh, through Xbox, through Microsoft, and I got my copy through Steam, we wouldn't have been able to play it against each other or play with each other. So, I, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to say the Scorpio is going to flop or be a, a big loss for, uh, I almost said Nintendo, <laughs> <laughs> for Microsoft, but I just get a feeling it's not going to live up to expectation because, I mean, the PS4 Pro has pretty much come and gone yeah, yeah and you don't really hear too many people talking about it because it's one of those things that you know they, they're just trying to push this new technology out the door without you know making sure okay do we have anything that can really pop with this new software you know i just i think that they need to stop focusing on these okay well we're gonna have more teraflops than this one's teraflops you know they really need to get back to, hey, is this game going to release on time? Okay, are we not going to need a 35 <clears throat> gigabyte day one patch? Yeah. You know what? You know what's kind of strange? <clears throat> what's up? We we get on Nintendo because Nintendo tries to. Here we go again. They, no, listen. They they trying to appeal to everybody and, and make a machine that's not powerful. And then in the same term, we appeal. We <laughs> were getting on Xbox where they're just trying to let's make this big powerhouse of a machine. But here's the difference between Microsoft and Sony and compared to Nintendo. We know Nintendo makes good shit. We know that Nintendo's going to make some good first-party shit. Microsoft and Sony, on the other hand, they've had some winners, but they can still falter. I mean, just this, like Nintendo can still falter. Right. Like, this is my thing. If they released, if, let's say, nobody comes out with a console for five years... Okay. And then five years from now, Microsoft, uh, Sony, and Nintendo all come out with an identical console. They're exactly the same, power-wise. Okay, so exact same specs and uh, Exact same software. specs across the board. So you're okay. going to get the same exact Call of Duty on all three. Okay. You're going to get the same exact, you know, all the third-party games. Basically, are gonna everything's exactly going to be, sa- be the same. So you're going to be dependent on which one you choose based on first and second parties? I'm buying the Nintendo machine. It's, you know, I'm not really into Halo, not really into Gears of War. Yeah, uh, and that, you know, that's you. Right, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying my personal preference. I mean, my personal preference would, if I had to choose between them in this hypothetical situation, I would actually go with uh, Sony. Because I have a lot better memories with Sony than I do with Nintendo. You know, I played and beat my first RPG on... Uh, PlayStation, those those are my favorite genre. Those are, you know... And... I don't know. I just have better memories with my PlayStation 2 and my PlayStation 1 than I do with Nintendo. Even though my the Super Nintendo was my first foray into playing video games. Did, did you not play and beat Chrono Trigger on Super Nintendo? No, I did not. Probably the world's greatest RPG. I, I know that I have it on my uh, my 3DS, and I'll get to it one day. Maybe I'll get an emulator. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I tonight. think I have it on PS One. Tonight's the night. PS One ruined it because of load times. Eh. Load times before and after battles. It just wasn't the same. Mm. Mm. I don't. I don't really remember. It's either that, or I'll just go dig up my old Super Nintendo. <coughs> I could give you one of my three. Just to borrow, though. I need it back. Well, no. I still have a Super Nintendo. I have all the wires and shit for it. I even still have a copy of Chrono Trigger. Oh, yeah. That thing might be worth uh, worth a little little money there, buddy. <laughs> if it was still in the box and sealed. That's true, too. Wait. You have three Super Nintendos? I do. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> it, one was mine. One was my wife's. And then somehow or another, I picked up another one along the way. Uh... You don't have Sunset Riders for it, huh? No, I do not. Fuck. 
And see, no, what's really funny about the Super Nintendo that we have is it was my dad's when we lived, um, when we first moved to Louisiana after I was born. Um, it was my dad's, and he, I remember playing it with him in our, in their, in my mom and his apartment in Algiers, you know, him playing it, playing Tecmo Bowl and shit, and I'm sitting on the waterbed watching him play it. The more you talk about your dad in gaming, the more it sounds like he should be on here. Um, no. Not, we could not. talk Tecmo Bowl all day. Well, I mean, yeah, y'all could probably talk Tecmo Bowl all day, but that's probably could, be about it. He could talk college rosters all day. Yeah, he but. can. There you go. But uh, anyway, he eventually gave that Super Nintendo to me, which then ended up uh, going to my cousin's. And then they gave it back to us. So this Nintendo, this this Super Nintendo has been passed around at, as the gaming equivalent of a joint. A neighborhood hoe. I'll yeah, go with that. Uh, uh, yeah, there you go. That, that, that's Gotta be a, a little different. Yeah. Is a neighborhood hoe really any different? That's true. Zinga. <laughs> So, uh, Josh, you got any, you got any more flavors? No, no, I don't think I have anything else, really. All right, let's say the only thing uh, before we jump into the the main the main ingredients would be uh, Marvel and uh, Square Enix announced that uh, they're going to have a partner for an Avengers game. Uh, the game's going to be part of a <laughs> multi-year, multi-game partnership. Um, the Avengers one is being developed by Crystal Dynamics and Eidos Montreal, who did Deus Ex. So, uh, so had, Square Enix, don't fuck it up. Right. They had a, I'd say about 34 second trailer, which no gameplay footage, just some, you know, generic stuff going on. Of course. But, uh, seems exciting. What kind of game do you think it's going to be? I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> you got Tomb Raider, the people who made Tomb Raider and Deus Ex. So, by them listing those games, is that the kind of game they're saying we're going to get? I mean, it could be. We could be getting a third-person shooter. Like a, I don't know. Or maybe uh, an action RPG. I could do. I could go with an action RPG. Don't they already have cool. something like that, though? What do you mean? Um... I know it's not with the Avengers. It's like DC and Marvel. Oh, you're talking about Marvel Heroes or whatever? Yeah, there's something on PlayStation. Uh, oh, the DC Online? You're talking about yeah. DC Online? That's an MMO. That's a free-to-play oh. MMO. Which, yeah. if it's a multi-year right, uh, yeah. thing, I highly doubt it's an MMO because you need to put a lot of time and a lot of effort into making an MMO. So, I highly doubt if it's a multi-year thing. Unless... The you know the unless they're like oh games meaning expansions but I highly doubt that. Yeah, and this is just uh this is Disney. They said when they canceled Infinity that they were gonna basically just lease out their their uh their properties. And you got uh Square Enix has uh the Avengers now. Then you got um was Insomniac working on the Spider Man game? Uh yes. So Insomniac's working on a Spider Man game. Like they they're pretty I much. I actually get that. Yeah, that, that that does look pretty badass. You got EA with Star Wars, so they're they're doing it good. They're not just like I don't like know. EA is not doing so well with Star Wars. Hey, a shit ton of people bought that game. Yes, <laughs> in and Disney's a shit mind, ton of people were pissed. Hey, in Disney's mind, that that was worth every penny because they probably made a fuck ton off of that. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, but hey, you know, screw Star Wars thirteen thirteen. You know that game actually looked fucking good. It wouldn't appeal to the masses. I I highly doubt that. If it has Star Wars branded on it, it's going to appeal to a lot of people. That's true. But yeah, so while we're uh, talking Star Wars, let's move right into the Segway. main ingredient of the night. And that's uh, the title for the next Star Wars movie has been unveiled. The next episode Star Wars movie. Yes. And it's going to be uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi. And an episode 9 will be From His Nap. <laughs> the Force Awakens, The Last Jedi. From His, from nap. his nap. 
which could, it no, could be a hundred percent true. <laughs> no, I want to start this off by saying uh, Josh and I had a coworker, or him and our another coworker of ours had a disagreement uh, earlier this week on whether or not Kylo Ren is a Jedi. And I schooled that motherfucker with a drive-by. <laughs> <laughs> It was pretty hilarious. Just roll up to him and go, Kylo Ren's a Jedi, and just roll off. I would say Kylo Ren is Jedi nor Seth, because he hasn't been fully trained. Hmm. He can still, he can still uh, wield a kyber crystal, so he's got something. Yep. He's definitely, he's definitely a Jedi. He may not be a fully trained Jedi, but he's a Jedi. So, um, when you first heard about it, what is what is the uh, first thing popped in your head? Please don't Last kill Jedi? Luke Skywalker. Please don't kill Luke Skywalker. Please don't kill Luke Skywalker. Watch him kill Luke Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> until, or at least until Episode Nine, at least. I mean, come on, give the man another trilogy. And what about the uh, the actual Star Wars being in red instead of uh, the standard yellow? That kind of caught me off guard and like, hmm, this is interesting, although very ominous. I have a feeling, well, I mean, as with any, you know, middle movie in a trilogy, something bad's going to happen, man. Which is they're going to kill Luke Skywalker. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up, shut your bald whore mouth. Hey, bald whores are good. Um... No, like I told you, uh, what what I think Disney, from when they first announced it, and you knew that they were gonna have uh, Han Solo, Princess Leia, and all the in the movies. I'm, I was thinking, I'm like, okay, so you got this, you got the new blood, and you got the old blood. By the end of the this this trilogy, seven, eight, nine, I was a hundred percent sure before I even saw the Force Awakens that all those old characters would die. Um, the only people I see like living on through. Every Star Wars movie ever. Uh, that's an episode would probably be uh, C. No, C. Three PO and um, R. Two D. Two. I don't know. You just, never know. They might surprise you. Just to keep the iconic feel, more or less. If they killed R. Two D. Two, my freaking son would just blow what? a gasket. It would. It'd be just like Anakin when he found out that he killed Padme. No. <laughs> He'd get up and walk the same way. <laughs> <laughs> Straight Frankenstein in it. Frankenstein in it. All right, so let's uh, let's go around and let's let's think. Uh, let's everybody say who we think the last Jedi or Jedi is, because Jedi plural is just Jedi. So yeah. then we're gonna make a little speculate. We're gonna play a little game, and this game is gonna take uh, eleven months to pay off. <laughs> but. <Yeah>. Uh, <laughs> We'll go around and make our own little Star Wars prediction on what we think is going to happen, and then 11 months from now, we will listen to that on a podcast and uh, see how horribly wrong we were. 11 months when we have a million viewers on YouTube. Yes, and everybody be like, what is this old episode? I'm going to have to go look this up, and then our yeah. old episodes will start getting views, and then it'd be, it'd be <laughs> awesome. And then we make tons of money. And they'd be like, why do they keep talking about this Jeff guy? He's never on. And we'd be like, yeah. I don't know. He's always doing community service. <laughs> you can't hey, see the air quotes, but they're there. How many times do we have to tell that dude? Fucking ugly chicks is not a community <laughs> service. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> if you have slept with Jif, I'm not making fun of you. I'm Get an uglier girl, so it's not you. Oh my God! If you're listening, Get Steve. checked. Oh holy shit! So let's start with you, Nick. <laughs> well. Like you, like you pointed out, Jedi is the plural and singular form of Jedi. I I get a, my prediction is that Luke Skywalker he's gonna trade he's gonna train Rey and basically just be like, all right, look, I'm gonna be real with you. I tried to open my own. I tried to start my own um, dojo. Dojo. <laughs> I guess yeah, that'd be the right Got word. A Jedi dojo. <laughs> I tried to start my own Jedi Academy. There you go. There you go. And things went south, like, real quick. So You ever met that Kylo guy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to teach you all that I know, and then you got to promise me 
Never train another Jedi. You have to be the last Jedi. Pretty much. And I have a feeling she'll probably break it and train Finn, or he might train Finn and Rey, since, you know, Finn was able to use the lightsaber to fight Kylo Ren at the end of Force Awakens. Spoiler alert for anybody that hasn't seen Force Awakens. I mean, my God, the movie's been out for almost two years now. Go see the damn movie, people. Or go buy it. Red box. Something. So, if he, even though he was like, he picked up the lightsaber, does that still count towards him being able to bend the Kyber crystal? Or. I'm. I mean, that's. Is that, that like a, that, gray hole, a gray loop almost? That's. That's up for speculation because even in Empire Strikes Back, Han was able to use Luke's lightsaber to cut open the Tauntaun to, you know, keep him, you know, to do what he had to do. So, I mean, it could be up for speculation that maybe it was just a fluke thing and I don't know, maybe maybe Finn does not have the potential to be a Jedi. I think, uh, I don't think Finn is actually strong with the Force. Um, but I think, I think having Finn being able to kind of fight Kylo Ren was just showing how untrained Kylo Ren really was. Uh, and, and, you know, they, they showed other stuff like that, like him not being able to control his anger. Right. Um, acting like a little bitch basically. Well, I mean, the the main driving force of the Sith is anger, so. Right, but he's still, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I I understand what you're saying. He was not one with the force and the force was not with him. Shut (laughs) up! (laughs) Jesus Christ! Eight you hours a day, I deal with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that all that was to just show how untrained that Kylo Ren really was, and um, which leads into at the end he's going. They they say go you know go collect Kylo Ren. Let's finish his training. Right. So, um, for the last Jedi, I do think it's it's gonna be something where it's uh. Luke and Ray, and you know, same thing. He could tell her, you know, I could train you, but you can't train anybody else, or right. something like that, just because of it could go bad. Right. Um, now, but um, there, there was this theory that I read. Uh, I want to say about a year ago. There is a theory. There's a fan theory going around that Snoke is actually Mace Windu. Wow, it got real quiet in here for dun, a second. Dun, dun, dun. You know, you know, it's funny. I look at a bunch of them, and I've never seen that one. You never seen that one. The the, the, the that theory one. basically goes that Mace survived the fall from Episode Three that supposedly quote unquote killed him, because it's been documented that Jedi can survive very high falls. That's why they got them leaping abilities. Right. Was there a magical platform under him, like in uh, Rogue One? Uh, no. I don't know. <laughs> they don't go into specifics. Anyway, you know, he basically Actually, what sur- happened? he survives the fall, he survives Order 66, and he basically goes into exile like Yoda did and just spends the next, you know, decade, couple decades plotting his revenge against uh, the Skywalker family. And this is his ultimate fruition. He got, you know, he got... Kylo Ren to turn on to the dark side and you know he wants to use him to kill Luke like I said I'm sure if, if I find a link to a more detailed you know analysis of the theory I'll, I'll send it to y'all I think uh, the, the theory I seen that was kind of and uh, I rewatched it the other day just to, to see what they were pointing out is that um, they were saying that Ray could ultimately be related to Palpatine. Um, yes, and it, I did see were, that one as well. They were basing it on how she swings and fights with the lightsaber. Yes, and they were saying that in the book for the movie when uh, he, Kylo Ren was down, she heard like a voice saying "kill him," and right. you know, supposed like Palpatine talking to her. Right. Um, now I do think that. Uh, since the way this one kind of followed the first one, like it followed a New Hope kind of story way, right? I think this one's gonna try and and mimic uh, Empire Strikes Back, so they will have some sort of big reveal, and either who uh, 
Snoke is or um, Ray's parents. Obviously, they've been hinting at that's going to be some kind of big reveal. There, there's also a theory that I've seen. Uh, I never looked into it much though. Is that Ray is actually Obi Wan Kenobi is related to Obi Wan Kenobi? Hmm. Did he bang a Tuscan Raider? I don't know. <laughs> Like I, I, like I said, I never I never read much into it because it seemed a little far fetched. But you know, being related to Palpatine or even being you know related to Luke, you know, both seemed like very sound theories. Yeah, that's what uh, the Palpatine one is a lot more sound than Skywalker. A, lo- a lot of people like to to say like the <laughs> it goes that. The first, the original trilogy was, you know, a Skywalker. Um, well, that's Skywalker versus Skywalker, basically. But it's more, uh, and the ones before that was a Kenobi versus a Skywalker. Mm-hmm. So by having Rey be a Kenobi, she'd be fighting a Skywalker. Right. But I don't, I don't see him doing that because it just, it's too, too coincidental. Mm-hmm. Um. But if they keep teasing about her parents, her heritage, and all that stuff, it has to be somebody we know. It can't be. It can't some... just be some random jack off that they just write up. Right. I don't think it's going to be somebody, somebody random. I think it's going to be somebody that, that we've already seen in the last movies. This is also a possibility. So now what we're going to do is uh, let's let's make our movie predictions so we can. You know, revisit and figure out how horrible we are. If you want to lay out the whole storyline of the movie from beginning to finish, I'm cool with that. I mean, I'm not going to lay out the whole movie from start to finish. I mean, I'm going to stick to my prediction with the whole subtitle of The Last Jedi. You know, I get the feeling that Luke's not going to die in this one, but he oh, will. He dies. But Luke's going to die. Be, but he will be dead by episode nine. But. He's still he's gonna teach Ray all he knows and make her swear to never pass it on to anybody else. Luke's dead. <laughs> so what what about the other characters? <laughs> They're just not gonna be in the movie at all. <laughs> well, I I think Kylo Ren's gonna become more powerful, obviously, because he's going back to train with Snoke. Um, as far as revealing who Ray's parents are, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Patrick and stick with the uh, she's related to Palpatine. Just just based on because I've seen videos talking <clears throat> about the theory and how he would be she would be related, and there's a lot of sound facts in there. So they're gonna reveal Palpatine is Ray's father or grandfather or uncle or some kind of relative. They did say that. Uh... Sith get around like canon O dogs tape from from Minister Society. So there you go. Well then. And also, I think that they're gonna handle Carrie Fisher with. I know they she finished all of her parts for Episode Eight, but I get the feeling at like like near the end of the movie or at some point in the movie, she's gonna be on a ship and it gets blown up, and that's their way of riding her, her out. out. Yeah. Literally taking her out. I mean, hey, life already did it. Yeah. So, what do you think about uh, what's going to go on with Finn? I I get the feeling that Finn's going to try to follow Ray and try to convince Luke to teach him, but like you said, he may not even be, you know, force sensitive, and he'll probably end up betraying them in some way or. Who knows? Maybe they might throw a curveball and kill off Finn. And then K2SO comes out of nowhere and says something funny in the movie ends. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Your obsession with the guy is unhealthy. Either fuck him or don't. Like, if he was alive, I would. Spoiler. Yeah. Yeah, everyone dies for years. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know. So, uh, Josh, what is your uh, The Last Jedi predictions? Okay. So it's going to pan in, and they're going to be on the cliff side, and Ray and Luke are going to be talking. And then Finn comes out of nowhere, pushes Luke, and then credits. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know the what? The Last I, Jedi. The, what a, <laughs> I really enjoyed The Force Awakens, but I thought what was funny is when at the end, Ray comes out, she pulls out the lightsaber, and she hands it out. 
and then they got the camera pan around for like five minutes where they're just standing there staring at each other. <laughs> and they said, this movie's going to pick up exactly where they left off. Like, and <laughs> I guarantee you they're going to show the same exact pullout. Oh, yeah. And the same exact pan around for five minutes where they're just staring at each other. Um, and it's like, Ray could have said something. She could have said, you know, I think this belongs to you. Right. Found it. She could have said anything. Is there a reward for this? <laughs> and that was the original lightsaber that Obi Wan gave him, right? So that was yes, that was, that was Anakin's uh, Anakin lightsaber. Skywalker. Yeah. So by her grabbing that one, you can say <clears throat> she has some kind of ties to that. But then, you know, that makes her a Skywalker, but she's not supposed to be a Skywalker. Well, going, maybe she is. Going back to the fan theories, there's also a fan theory that Luke is actually Snoke, and that. If you look at the expression on his face at the end of Force Awakens, he it, he almost looks like kind of shocked or surprised. And maybe right. it's because he was expecting Kylo Ren and not Rey. Rey, I am your father. <laughs> and then she pushes him. No, you're not. <sighs> Dear God, Jesus, you wouldn't push <clears throat> people tonight. I think, uh... I think I'm spot on. No, I don't think they'll make Luke make the evil turn, just because I think a lot of people would they would have like some fan backlash. Um, I'm gonna go so with Nick's too. theory on Luke about him being the the gray Jedi. After I read that, that made so much sense to me. What is this gray Jedi? A gray Jedi is basically a Jedi Knight that doesn't accept the teachings of the Jedi, but he also doesn't fully accept the teachings of the Sith as well. He's like kind of in a middle ground sort of a whole like he acknowledges that you need the force but you also need the dark side as well to keep a balance right so Josh that was really your prediction for the entire movie yeah that's it the last Jedi <laughs> look it's Disney okay they can do that and get away with it and make millions of dollars I'll see right. you all in hell huh? if the movie's five minutes long they're like hey if this movie's only five minutes long People 300 who, 300 hour production value people who go see the movie multiple times can get in multiple viewings in one day like right. they can see it 30 times in one day right and yeah. psh, this movie it's could a make gold mine Woo! gazillions of dollars <laughs> <laughs> you know that's what I got all right so let's hear Patrick's prediction I've been waiting for this guys for if I'm right fuck all of you just saying <laughs> Dude, if you're right, I I will let you push me off a cliff. <laughs> will you say that, that you're my father first, and then I can push? Yes. <laughs> Josh, I am your father. <laughs> Wait, before I push you, tell me to go to the Dagobah system. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Josh, what happened to your face? <laughs> <laughs> like I hit my mic. <laughs> I hit my mic with my headphones. Oh, I love that clip so much. <laughs> Hilarious. Andy, what happened to your face? Did you burn yourself? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what if Jar Jar Binks is the last Jedi? <laughs> no. Or he comes back as the Emperor? No. Just somebody no. somebody put a, a a thing saying that the that the title screen for The Last Jedi, like the poster was super high res. So they they're like, oh so I downloaded it. And I loaded it into Adobe, whatever, and they're like, and you pan to the side, and you can see, like, more stars over here. Then you pan to the other side, and they had a big-ass picture of Jar Jar Binks. Wow. <laughs> What's up with you? <laughs> Misa going home! <laughs> Misa in charge now. <laughs> no, Misa needs to go to hell where he belongs. All right, so we're ready? We're ready for this? Yes. Yeah. All right. So you get the same pan in. Then I think Luke is surprised to see her because maybe she is related to Palpatine. And, you know. Uh, so I think they do their training. I don't know if Luke will ride her back Yoda style or not. But I think it's going to mirror the same thing. She's in the middle of her training. She, she senses that Finn's in trouble and she has to leave. Uh, I think Finn... Not really the Han Solo role, because I think Poe kind of takes some of that. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't see Finn doing anything. Like I don't see Finn and Luke Skywalker meeting at all. Um, 
but I see Finn with Poe in BB-8 and doing stuff with the uh, Millennium Falcon. Yeah, I, and like I said, uh, I said in the group me, I, I do see the Millennium Falcon biting the dust one day, but maybe not with Carrie Fisher on it. <laughs> right, because you noticed R two, R two and Chewbacca is with with Ray. So, mm-hmm. and they stayed at the bottom of the mountain. Right. But I wonder if if Luke gets all excited and runs up R two, and he's so happy to see him because that'd be funny. And that Chewbacca's still funny. crying. Right. Um, they did say Carrie Fisher's role at this one wasn't huge, mm-hmm. so I could see her just like helping lead, um, lead their forces, and that's really it. Uh, I could see we get we get more of um, Kylo Ren's training, and I could see Kylo Ren kind of. So we seen in the first one him dealing with like like he's a little bitch like he, <clears throat> he gets anger easy and he he's, gets frustrated. He's still struggling with the fact you know he's still struggling between the light and the dark side basically. Right. So I could see him kind of feeling that you know he killed his dad and all that stuff and maybe he struggles a little bit and he's gonna have to do something to. But so my I think what they tried to show when the the sun went out and he killed Han Solo was like the light was gone. Mm-hmm. But I could still see him like struggling with that more, and uh, he's gonna have to do something or not do something because I could see in a super duper turn of events where Ray ends up bad and Kylo Ren comes back to the light and, and fights her, mm-hmm. which they could try and make it full circle or some crap, um, just for them to to make it super interesting. But uh, yeah, that's really it. A bunch is just gonna be like Empire Strikes <laughs> Back. A bunch of stuff goes on. But in the end, nothing's really resolved. <laughs> that sounds about right. What if it but comes I, to turn out that Kylo Ren goes back to the light and actually becomes the last Jedi? I think he's too much of a bitch. <laughs> Kylo Maybe Ren's that's like, why, because he knows he doesn't belong as a son. But Kylo Ren, like all through the first one, like he was upset when he found out that a girl was with him. Like I think he knows something about who she is or heard stories of her maybe he's jealous because she's a direct descendant of palpatine and and snoke may like her more or, or you know maybe he really wants to hit that well besides that um maybe might be a long lost sister no cuz i think leia would have remembered having another kid yeah true ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah i don't remember you coming out <laughs> Man, those 70s. I was high all the time. Who oh, knows? <laughs> I really shouldn't have been doing acid while I was pregnant. <laughs> acid and the Millennium Falcon just do not mix. Oh, my God. Wait, Chewbacca's not real? <laughs> Ray, Ray is really uh, <laughs> Princess Leia and Chewbacca's. <laughs> 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 yeah, so I, I see. We're I think we're gonna find out who's Ray's parents are. I think it's gonna be. It has to be somebody we know. They can't. Make oh yeah, it it's totally Kyle. somebody we don't know. Um, Kylo Ren's her dad. <laughs> Kylo Shut Ren's up. her dad. <laughs> Kylo Ren struggles uh, with being total evil. Uh, Ray probably struggles with her training, mm-hmm. just like Luke did. Right. Um, then, then ultimately, in the end, she's facing like something to do with her family. So Snoke could be her dad. Who fucking knows? Who knows? They could, they could go so many different ways with it, and there, there is a tie lot it of into a way go. that they they could tie it in in such a way that it, everything would make sense. But question: Do do we think we're gonna have another Star Killer base? No, no. Just like we had another Death Star. No, I highly doubt that. I, I think mean, that's just. That's two point out already. Yeah, it is. It, it, it's a cliche at this point. That's so right. nice. You know, kind of like how they made you know dodging the bullets in the Matrix a cliche that was made fun of constantly. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's gonna be more of the the forces trying to take out the what the fuck the. First order. Yeah, that's what, there you go. Yeah, they're not one with the force, and the force is not with them. I swear it, to do God. Do you know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what? That probably the whole I'm one with the force, and the fourth who with me was a hundred percent about Doing bringing it back. Crazy, bringing it back 
to it being faith and not fucking midi chlorians. That too. <laughs> so that was a hundred percent. Yeah, we need to wipe this midi chlorian thing. I mean, oh, they just never some, mentioned it after episode one. There's some midi chlorians in your blood. All right, now you're just not taking this serious. Shut up. <laughs> this dude's got more T cells than Master Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going there. You remember just, that, Nick? Yes. <laughs> Look, if you're not gonna take this seriously, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Robot Chicken has some great Star Wars stuff. They do. Uh, for anybody listening, if you have never watched any of the Robot Chicken Star Wars sketches, do yourself a favor, go look them up. They are fucking hilarious. Literally, I think literally all of them are hilarious. I don't think I found one that wasn't that funny. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah. Harry Penis. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so any last words on Star Wars? The Last Jedi. Don't kill Luke. Hashtag not my Star Wars. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Josh? I don't know how to combat that. <laughs> and by the don't. way, Jif is a, is a real big Star Wars fan, so I'm sure sometime Jif is in the same boat with Nick. He'll want to come back and, and and say his predictions so we can laugh at him also. There we yeah. go. Jeff is in the same boat as Nick. He said if they kill uh, Luke, then he's out. Oh, and I do I do see. Um, if they kill him in episode eight, I'll be out. Ray and Ray and Finn don't nine, see each other again. So Ray and Finn don't see each other again in episode eight. If they do, it'll be at the very end. Hey, look that one guy that I were that I had an adventure with. Right. The one black guy in all of Star Wars. <laughs> Next to Lando Calrissian. Hey, if if Finn yeah. becomes Lando Calrissian's baby, fucking Disney's just super racist. Like, <laughs> um, they just <laughs> narrowed the only two black people in the Star Wars universe well, to fucking family. They, they pretty much established in, uh, in Episode 7 he didn't really have any family. I mean, all of the stormtroopers are essentially clones. No, no, no. They took him away from his family as a baby. Oh, really? I'm yeah, so he, he has a things. family. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If they make it where he's a Calrissian, it's just way too coincidental and way too kind of racist. Like, seriously, there's only two black dudes in the galaxy and their father and son. Come on, come on, Star Wars. It's a, it's a big ass galaxy. I mean, hey, maybe there's, maybe this is a galaxy where you know hardly any black people exist. Build a wall around the Midichlorians. Oh, shut up. Are you saying that that Donald Trump's presidency is the beginning of a real life Star Wars? No. <laughs> we should build a Death Star. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> My first act in office is to uh, enact Order sixty six. Wait, what? <laughs> Executive Order sixty six. <laughs> So, and that has been it for episode 18 <laughs> of Geek Gumbo. Uh, any final words, Nick? Hashtag not my Star Wars. Josh? Rest in peace, Luke. <laughs> All right, that is it. <laughs> See you guys next time in a hairy penises. Hairy Star Wars penis. <laughs> <laughs>